Hey y'all, Phil here. I uh, just got back from somewhere and I just picked up something and I wanted to uh, show it to you. Okay. I went out to the exchange, the PX, on Fort Rucker. And I had ordered something, and it came in, so I wanted to, uh, to show it to you. Now, some of you may wonder, what? But, I decided to uh, get a new camera. And as you can see, the Canon Vixia. Uh, HFR 800 uh, camcorder and the reason that I got this was I've been having a little bit of trouble lately with the uh, Canon or excuse me the Nikon DLSR I've got uh, somehow on my last trip the uh, autofocus got screwed up and uh, it won't autofocus on me and uh, so I'm having a problem with that, even though I'm recording it here, you know, set on uh, the tripod and then uh, uh, manually focusing it, you know, that, that works. It still works. It just, it won't autofocus. So I decided, well, what can I use to uh, make my videos better, stay in focus, uh, quicker, handier, and so forth and so on. So anyway, uh, I got this from the exchange and uh, it came as a military bundle if you will so it came with the uh, uh, scan disk ultra sd8c card this 32 gigabyte high speed card uh, so we got that it also came with some packing <laughs> it came with a little case which I really don't need because I don't put the cameras in the case when I'm, you know, not filming. I just keep them handy, keep them out. So it came with that. And then, of course, the actual camera. It's got a uh, name on the top, stats on the side, stats on the back, stats on this side. So... The reason I decided to go with a camcorder is, you know, I watched a lot of videos, did a lot of research, and, uh, you know, a lot of people are all going to the DS, DSLRs, the mirrorless cameras, and stuff like that, and, and I looked at those. Matter of fact, they even looked at the Black Magic Pocket camera, which is a, a video camera, and it was 1300 bucks without a lens on it. So... I got this from the exchange. The whole little package here was only $219 and uh, no tax. So that's what I decided to go with this and, and give it a try. I know a lot of vloggers uh, and YouTubers have used this in the past and they've upgraded to more DSLR, but I thought I'd give this a try. Like I said, for $219, uh, I couldn't beat that. Okay, got the uh, warranty card and the booklet. And inside, we've got the battery. And from what I've, I've heard, you can only charge this battery uh, while it's on the, uh, the uh, camera itself. And I heard that it takes, a, it takes a long time to do that. Got a USB to uh, macro USB cable. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, I can put this in one of the charges I already have and charge it up. But we'll see. Comes with a uh, a uh, HDMI cable, not very long. Looks about uh, three feet, maybe. A uh, battery charger, or excuse me, a power adapter. The good thing about this, they say, is you can plug it in and charge it and use it at the same time. So 
like if I was using it right now to record this, I could have it plugged in and charging. So, which is which is good, but uh, I know I may have to get an external charger and an, another battery and go ahead and charge those, you know, when I'm not using it. And then of course the camera inside the box. That's it. No goodies. No secrets. No specials. And uh, there's a lot of, of uh, videos uh, online about how to use this thing and the different settings and all that kind of stuff. One thing I liked about it is it's small, it's lightweight, as you can see. You know, it fits in your hand. And but it's real light, so I can put this on the end of my my uh, monopole selfie stick, which I can extend out to six feet, so I can have that thing out in front of me. Uh, uh, it's got uh, stabilization, uh, yaw pitch and roll, and up and down, and uh, I can put a, matter of fact, I ordered a wide angle lens. That was one of the problems. It didn't give you much background here, but I ordered a wide angle lens to, to screw on this and put on this. I haven't got it yet, but that will give me a, a wider field of view behind me so you can see more, and I think that lens was only, what did I pay for it, 15 bucks? So that's coming uh, this thing has got the flip up screen obviously like I said you can uh, do all the the research other how-to videos online I'm not going to make this one of those on and off a little card goes in here uh, so I will uh, try this and use it and then I will make another video on how it uh, how it goes it's got the normal uh, uh, tripod mount to the bottom. The only bad part about this, or one of the bad things, the cons, is it doesn't have a hot cold shoe on it. So it does have an adapter for a uh, external microphone, uh, but you can't attach it to the camera. So you've either got to get a mount, another mount to mount it to, or you know hold it in your hand, or strap it underneath, or somehow fix it up, uh, or a, a lavalier mic lapel mic which is I've got one of those on order too because even though I've got several lavalier mics now this one requires a powered microphone you can't just plug in a standard lavalier mic into it and uh, it will work you've got to have a powered mic so I ordered one and what did I pay for it uh, $22 $23 and so I can plug that in and run the cord up and put my uh, uh, lavalier clip it on my shirt or whatever and that way I can I can vlog and use use it now they say the, the sound on this is pretty good but uh, I wanted the extra one to to be able to put this back I can put this back on the tripod you know five feet away from me and got the cable to run over to me and that'll give me good sound or I can use the shotgun mic that I've got on that camera up there right now and plug it in because it is a powered mic I would just have to figure out a way to hold it or or uh, velcro it or something to keep it on here and use it this way but uh, I'll do more of that research on that or more shooting and videos and and get back with you on my results but I think I'm going to be very happy it's it's small it's lightweight this is this is uh, adjustable so you can get your hand in I also have another strap like this that I had for the uh, the DSLR that's a lot bigger, a lot wider, a lot more secure, so I may put that on here. But this way you can, you know, when you try to keep your camera state steady, the uh, they say, you know, bring your elbows in, hold them against your chest, you know, and then do this, and you can keep it fairly, fairly steady. But I wanted the stabilization because since I'm getting so old, you know, I do get a little wobbly in my hand, so that'll that'll help if I'm not using. Uh, a tripod or monopod or something like that. So that'll be it for now. I'll get back with you later after I charge this thing up and use it a little bit, and uh, and uh, I'll get back with you and, and let you know. Especially after I get my uh, uh, lens, wide-angle lens, and stuff. Uh, so we'll go from there. So until later, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your your watching, and I appreciate you. Uh, 
subscribing and, and leaving comments and uh, please tell all your friends to watch and sub subscribe. All right, until later, fill out. Okay, fill back at you. While I was uh, sitting here editing the unboxing of the Vixia, uh, it started raining outside, thundering and stuff, so I thought, well, while I'm here, let me just uh, make a quick little add-in to this video to let you know what this is, uh, picture looks like, picture and sound. So right now, all I've, I've got this thing, I'm just holding it out at arm's length, no uh, uh, tripod or anything. In fact, you can see my arm in there. Let me try to get that out of the way a little bit. Okay, see my arm in there. So I thought I'd show you the picture. Uh, what else? I was going to tell you about this. Uh, well, I'll think of it later. Let me uh, just give you a look around at uh, what uh, what's going on here. One of the things you'll notice inside here is I used to have my uh, computer and uh, sitting right there and strapped down on that uh, settee and had the uh, uh, monitor on the the table right here. Well, what I've done is I put the computer right up there in the back, I hope you can see it, of the overhead compartment. Got it up there, got it all strapped down. And I plug the computer into the, uh, the TV. It's a 40 inch, you know, widescreen TV and I'm using that as my monitor. I says, well, why have it here on the table if I can just do it that way and, uh, you know, sit here at the settee and watch it and uh, do whatever I need to do. You can see right there, I'm using uh, DaVinci Resolve 16 right now. It's a free program, so I decided to try that as opposed to continue using the subscription to uh, Adobe Premiere. And it, it's got a little bit of a learning curve. There's a lot of things that I could do in Adobe Premiere just without thinking about it. Just, you know, just zip, zap, zip and did it. And But here I'm having to think about things and just having to get used to it. But, uh, hey, it's free. Okay. As you can see, outside, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark and rainy. You can see the water drops coming on out there. But uh, it's dark and gloomy outside, and that's a, a picture of that. So, hopefully everything's coming off good. Now, now the only light I've got inside, on inside here, is the... Uh, Let's see, it was what, one, two, three, four, five, six of the little uh, LED uh, overhead lights running off the battery. And then the, uh, I've got a lamp, table lamp type thing setting up on the uh, overhead there that uh, comes on with a uh, adapter for when it gets dark, it automatically comes on. So that's on. So that's all the light. I'm not using a, uh, you know, a light with the camera add-on or anything like that. But... Uh, Hopefully that'll give you an idea of what's going on. There's my Nikon setting up there that I filmed the earlier portion of the video with, setting on the tripod. But uh, this will just give you a little bit idea of, of the picture and how it looks. Uh, I'll do some more, of course, outside when it's sunny and I get my wide angle lens and all that kind of stuff. So this will just give you a taste of what's to come. All right, until later. I appreciate you watching, as I said before. I uh, appreciate every one of you. And uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell, and until later, fill out.